Hello everyone, Susi Gaming here and welcome back to War Thunder. Drone Age update is out and the first vehicle that I'm gonna review is SU-25. They added two versions, one premium and one is not. Uh, both of them at 9.3 BR, characteristics and loadout wise, they're exactly identical. So if you watch my dev server video, the maximum fuel you can pick there was 18 minutes. Now they increased it to 29, so no longer you need to worry about running out of the fuel in a realistic matches. The loadout variety is huge, uh, you can pick 32 small bombs, you can mix all of the rockets, uh, anti-air missiles, bomb loadouts together, it's all about your creativity. There's not a specific loadout I'll recommend to you, just go test them out uh, and find Find one that is suiting you. Here's the gameplay. Enjoy. Okay. I think that's enough. Let's see, first I'm using the rocket loadout. Okay, we have enough for end tier as well. Nice. And having ground belt. Let's go. They look like a penguin head. If you add ice, there will be a little pingo rocket. Okay. Ballistic computer on. And first target spotted. Reduce speed? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm flying straight. <laughs> oh my god. That didn't do shit. <laughs> By the way, rockets are being shot one by one, so that means 8 kills if we're gonna kill from top down. Right, I see CV90, that's a paper target. One to you, actually two for you. It's a 3 ton loadout instead of 4 ton. So far feels good. And by the way, uh, what I expected, I expected to see a mixed match. Uh, remember how A10 was released? Oh shit, we have an enemy drone. How in the hell am I gonna notice that one? Oh, there it is. Can I lock on it? Yes, get wrecked. And if you kill a drone, it counts as an aircraft kill. Alright. So far, no proxy fuse AAs. I'm super lucky. Oh, oh that's an AA. 
Let's finish it. Hi there. Can you please stay there? Yeah, just there. Yep. You don't you don't need to move. You don't need to move at all. Thank you very much. Good day. I have two penguins left. I'm gonna call this rockets penguins, by the way. They look exactly like penguin heads. Who wants some penguins? You want some penguin. Get your penguin. I may... Oh, there is... Oh, no! That was AA. Okay. <laughs> Right, we have five kills, guys. I mean, wow. That was quite risky, extremely risky. That was a proxy fuse AA. I still have 11. How many bombs I have? 11. I also see some drones. Okay, I'm gonna try to drop one bomb. Let's see if it's enough. But it will be a precise bomb. Like this. Bam. Okay, he killed them before I could drop it. So, the bomb loadout makes me extremely crippled. How did you get in here? What the fuck? One. One bomb. And that's a kill. So here is the thing, if it's a direct hit, I'm s I set it to Assault Fuse, it creates a rocket effect. Uh, like Technically we can kill 32 enemies uh, with all the bombs we have, since it's dropping it one by one. But this loadout adds a huge mass. Maybe you can get a lot of kills if you're down tier, but if you're playing at your own tier or up tier, it will be not possible. So I I'll guess uh, I'll stick with the penguin rockets. A quick note for the noobs that are gonna purchase this frog foot. The armor belt of the cannon increases the spawn cost, so make sure to pick up the default one. As you can see, not picking anti-air missiles does not reduce the spawn cost. Make sure to remove all of those uh, custom loadouts you made, unnecessary ones. No, 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 get off. I see two campers. This plane turns extremely slow. One for you, one for you. And double hit, god damn it. That's why I don't trust rockets that much. It requires direct top down. That's a uh, freaking no countermeasures. Looks like we got up there. Countermeasures doesn't work <laughs> with this turn rate.
How many kills we got? Three. As you can see. Like, if we get down tiered and not play against this Ozilat, it will be a pure heaven. Die, 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 die. Yes, 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 yes. Get wrecked. <laughs> hey. You see the little square blinking at the bottom. That's where you need to point your mouse to launch a missile. Then you press R. You know the drill. So yeah, the angle here is quite critical. If it's blinking, you will not be able to launch your ATGM. That's an enemy drone. Can I just ram him? Wish I had a machine gun now. Hi, Predator! <laughs> Come on, ram me, bro. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to a helicopter. Yep. Propeller down. So, guys, at the end, I tried a bunch of loadouts. And for the ground realistic, the best loadout is two R60s and eight S25 O. If you're gonna ask why, first of all, this is the weight and performance wise most optimal loadout. The SU25 doesn't have extreme performance while carrying full bump loadout like Thunder Chief does. If you wanna go even more crazy, you can pick a cannon loadout only. I also tested a 29L. These suckers are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is 650 kilograms, where one penguin rocket is 370. I mean, yeah, you have ballistic computer, why not pick on the penguin loadout, eh? Someone make a penguin skin for this. It's a cool plane. I hope it will stay at this VR uh, for a really long time. The Soviet Aviation 3 leaked good cast, also good premium grinder. The only alternative was SU-7 BMK. And loadout is a bit weaker compared to S25, but yeah, you got the idea. That's it for today. Tell me what's your favorite loadout in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.